Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. We live in the world of AI guys and in next 10 minutes I am going to show you how you can build an AI powered workflow with zero code. Let's start without any delay. So this is my LinkedIn guys and I want to build a very nice workflow here and what my workflow will do is suppose I want to write a post about a machine learning topic or AI topic and that topic could be something like you can say topic uh, maybe let's say rag and there should be some purpose of this topic right so purpose of this topic could be engagement or this could be sharing knowledge or this could be spark a debate any of that can be a purpose of the topic imagine i give these two things to a ai tool and the topic and the description whatever i want to write here everything gets generated automatically so that flow i am going to create and show you how to do that what i will do i will just enter my topic name and purpose somewhere and then the post will automatically happen in linkedin so let me show you entire flow first of all go to google forms and create a blank form you can name this form anything you want for example i can say here linked in AI topics publish okay and you can name the form like this this is where I'll basically put my uh, topic so here I'll say topic and here I'll add one more question and I'll say purpose right so these two things I'm putting here, I'm keeping it simple. You can keep it um, however you want. And what I will do is I will save the response of this in a Google sheet. So I will say link to sheets. If you say link to sheets, it will create a new spreadsheet. Okay. So say create. It will create a new spreadsheet like this. And then what will happen is if I publish this form and fill it that data will go and sit in that google sheet so let me show you this is form link and let me go to a incognito tab and i will show you what happens when i fill that so let's go here linkedin ai topic publish and i will fill here for example rag and purpose could be engagement engagement g e m e n t okay I'll say submit what should happen is this data should go and sit in my new uh, this sheet as you can see data is coming and sitting in my new sheet this is what I want so I'll just delete it now for demo purpose I showed you but I'll delete it now so we have our form and we have our connected Google sheet now what I will do is I'll go to a website called Zapier I have shown you this website before as well go to Zapier create a free account and then click on this plus and say zaps what you want to create you want to create a new workflow the first thing that should happen is this should get triggered when a new row comes here in other words when i go and fill this google form so what i will do here i will simply say plus i will say connect to google sheets and remember your google account should be connected with zapier otherwise it will not identify your google sheet in my case google account is connected to zapier so it is basically uh, it will basically show my google sheets in that account first i will say here new or updated spreadsheet row and in query.unfolddatascience.com gmail.com uh, my sheet is there so if i go to continue right it will ask me the sheet name so a spreadsheet linkedin ai topics publish this is my sheet it will say worksheet so basically form response one the worksheet name if you give any other name you have to take this name and trigger column is which column you want to see so i want to see the topic column right so there are topic purpose and timestamp i want to see the topic column let's say continue and you can test this so let's say test in testing what should happen is if there is any data that data should show here but here it says uh, no split set uh, no spreadsheet row found create a spreadsheet row in your account and test again for demo purpose let me put here something so i will say vector db and purpose i will say um, knowledge sharing 
knowledge sharing now when i do the testing again i expect that data to come here so let's see what happens so as you can see uh, in topic vector db is coming in purpose knowledge sharing is coming which means my connection is working fine if you are someone with no coding experience or no technical expertise but you want to learn ai i bring to you a brand new ai course on udemy called ai for non technical professionals zero coding in this course i teach you ai step by step right from what ai is how you can use ai in your work and how you can grow in your career using ai this course will fit to you if you have no coding background but still want ai to push your career i have a special discount coupon for you right in the description go ahead click on this coupon link and check about the course you will learn a lot about ai in this course and you will have a ai powered resume by end of the course please go ahead and check out the course in udemy i'll cancel this and now i will go to action what i want to do i want to generate an ai content so i'll go and take open ai here remember when you take open ai first time it will ask you for the key obviously without key how it will work right so it will ask you key give that key in action you can say uh you can say conversation legacy okay and here this is my account through which my open ai key is there so this account is coming continue and what you want to do here so given a ai topic and purpose create create a linkedin post details below details below so what i want to do i want to give topic name here from the previous step click on this plus and take topic then say purpose and take this purpose okay model is this let's keep it for o not a problem this one you can keep you are a helpful assistant not a problem say continue and just say test setup so if you test setup what should happen that vector db related something should get generated right so let's see if chat gpt is able to generate that or not yeah as you can see unlocking the power of vector database is game changer blah 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 this 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 so now our job is to take this and write in the linkedin i'll come here and i will say linkedin as the new step and in linkedin again you need to connect your linkedin account obviously and i will say create share update aman kumar my account is connected i'll say continue comment what you want to post you want to post the step output or result is there a result response no 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 so i'll say step output okay visible to anyone all these things are fine and there is some continue okay comment to this 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 so this is not coming how i want it to come i think i have taken a uh, wrong column so let me see one more time what column should i take i want to take the model output actually completion id model history response reply i think this is the one i should take okay not the step output reply and then let's test yeah this is what i want to go to my linkedin so test setup is done test step if i if i click on this you know what will happen it will post on my linkedin so let me test anyway i will delete it so let's go to my linkedin and see if something related to vector db has been posted by my account so let me do that mm. i think yeah unlocking the power of vector databases now so the testing step has published that already now what i want to show you is if i publish this zap right let me publish this zap so that it runs on its own okay so let me publish this zap once the zap is published what you can go is 
what you can do is you can go here and this is the five seconds ago I created you have to ensure this is on okay this should be on once it is on then I will take this form I will take this form and I will update a new topic basically I'm filling a new data I'm, I'm testing if my workflow is working fine so I will say here topic any topic that you are interested in for example image net okay and purpose is knowledge sharing sharing knowledge sharing submit what is the first thing that should happen this data should come and sit in the Google form here uh, not the Google form the Google sheets here so image net knowledge sharing it has come and the zap should trigger so if you want to see if the zap has triggered or not triggered you can go to history and here if the zap triggers right that history will show here so it takes little little time to trigger the zap because you have just now put the new column uh, new basically row here and then it will trigger and it will publish when it comes i'll show you okay guys as you can see there are two posts that has come and the reason being my zap has run two times so it treated both the rows as a original row basically so if you remember the first row i had entered manually for this one and the image net for both of these it has given me two posts on linkedin so this is my first post on image net as you can see and this is my second post on vector databases the first one that we did for testing is still there but uh, uh, those two are from the automated runs this one and the first one so this is how you can create very nice workflows in uh, any of the platforms using AI don't forget to check my AI masterclass for non coding professionals on Udemy guys that's a very nice course that will give you idea on how to make most of this AI wave discount coupons are right there in the description go ahead click the link check the course okay I'll see you all inside the course where I have shown you many of these workflows you will just love it see you all in the course